right boxing fans, uh, just back on YouTube. I'm um, just going to do a couple of videos um, for the boxing uh, this Friday and Saturday coming. So, um, my bit of paper beside me again for these ones. Um, the first fight I'm going to talk about is the pro debut of former cricketer Freddie Flintoff. Um, I've seen the first episode of the the From the Lords to the Ring um, show that's been put on by Sky One. Um, the first episode was on last, uh, it was Thursday I think it was. Um, he had quite hard sparring, uh, he looked as if he was struggling a bit. But uh, he got through it quite well, he took some good shots and sparring and landed some good shots as well. I can't remember the name of the guy that that um, he rocked, but he, he rocked a guy with a straight right hand. I'm not too sure how good the guy was or if he was just some scrub that they put him in with to spar away, but he rocked him down to his boots anyway and by the way Gligan halted it and just told him to give it a rest and that was it. Um, but Rich Dawson, his opponent, um, don't, he said two fights, uh, one one of them was stoppage and the other one was a UD, I think it was only four rounds against I think it, I think the guy was zero and four, or zero and five. So, not really much to go on with the guy. I typed his name into YouTube a couple of days ago, and I could only find a. It was like a ten minute. It was I think it was him just. It was like he was walking through his hotel, and he was getting interviewed by this guy. You couldn't really see much of him. He, he looked built wise. He looked all right, but he looked a bit small. Maybe he looked a bit 5'11", but I uh, don't know much about him, so I've wrote down my bit of paper, um, Freddie Flintoff to win in round two, but it could go either way, we don't know what he's going to be like if he gets punched in the chin with eight ounce gloves on, don't know what he's going to, if he's going to be able to take a punch or not, um, but he looks heavy handed and sparring Flintoff, so that's why I've picked round two for him. Um, but moving on for that, uh, the main event that night in Manchester is Denton Vassell against um, Ronnie Heffron. Um, I know quite a few people that I spoke to in the past few days are, are picking Heffron because Vassell's not been active. Um, I don't think he's fought in about a year. Um, he had a good win last year against Lee Purdy. That was a, that was a cracking fight. Um, I remember that fight well. Um, I, I was watching a rematch, but it never came off. Um, but Efron is—I wouldn't say he's—he's. He's, he, he, does he still get trained by Anthony Farnell? I'm not sure. Um, the last time I seen him properly, he was with Farnell, so I'm not sure if it, he's still with him or not. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I don't like him at all. Um, I know he's unbeaten, but uh, he's not been in against MD of a sales quality yet. Um, I know quite a few people are picking Heffron, so brave bets by you guys. Um, I've wrote down on my bit of paper um, Denton Vassell TKO 11 for this one. Um, could go anyway, but that's what I've picked anyway, so I'm not really too fussed about these ones, it was just because that was the Freddie Flintoff debut and that was the main event in that card for Manchester, so that's why I done they too. Um, and on the same night in Liverpool is Big David Price against Matt Skelton. Um, this should go a bit longer than fraudly, uh, this one, so... I've picked uh, David Price round five. Um, I know Matt Skelton's got good work rate for his age. I think he's 45 or 46. He's got excellent work rate for his age. Um, and he can take a punch as well. Um, I think now. Uh, the last time he was stopped, I think, was 09. I think it was against Kubrat Pulev. I think it was. 
the guy that just beat Alexander Ustinov just there. I think it was Pulev that knocked him out in round four. Four or five, I think it was. Um, he's been in the prize fighter since then, but that's no, no much here. It's only three three minute rounds. It's no end. Um, uh, obviously, people seen Price knocking out Harrison the last time. It was just a farce. Um, don't know why oddly Harrison came back. I know he was in the best shape. Um, that he came in. I mean, he was lighter than he'd ever been. Um, but once Price hurt him in the chin, he was gone. I think he was actually out cold before he actually hurt the canvas. Um, don't know what else to say about the fight apart from. Think it'll go longer than I think it'll go a few rounds anyway. Um, Skelton was quite a hardy guy, so hopefully it'll be quite interesting to see David Price getting hit in the chin actually, because he's never been hit in the chin properly before. I was expecting Price to have a tough fight with John McDermott. I thought John McDermott might hit him in the chin and test him, but that never happened either because that finished in the first round as well. So he's never been. Hitting the chin because he's never let him hit him in the chin because he's got he's got them out there so quickly. So, uh, David Price round five against Matt Skelton. Right, guys, this is my first video. I'm gonna stop this one and make my second video for Saturday. Cheers.